hey guys welcome back again to my channel in today's video you are going to be learning how to change your package name and at the same time making it um work along with your um, data binding okay so without further ado uh, let's dive straight to it but before i continue i uh, would love you guys to please and please subscribe to my channel it will really help this channel grow so i do more of wordpress plugin development team development php kotlin swift and so much more so please your subscription will help us um, grow bigger so thank you for that let's um, get back again to uh, the solution so the first thing you have to do is to head down to the package um, you will like to edit or change so what you just need to do is to right click on the package name so go, scroll down to the refractor click on the rename and select all directory so let's say you want to edit this um like globally so now i want to change this biggie pay e to just biggie pay without adding the e so the next i'm gonna do is to select search in comments and strings search for text occurrence which is very important and make sure um the scope is in all places not just the project so all places so when you click on refractor um android studio is going to hack you for confirmation so just go ahead and click on do refractor now once that is done you're going to notice some errors you know, showing up so the next thing you would like to do once that is done is to click on the build scroll down to the claim projects um date um the what's the called project button so once you click on um claim project button under the build then the next thing you would like to do is to scroll down to um build dot um gradu under the app folder so now this is applicable to those who are using the uh, view binding so i'm going to change this to false first then click on save go to my file sync it with gradu file so it's going to be synced once that is done then i'm going to go to uh what is it called build rebuild the project data and guess what this is going to show some errors so as you can see the errors are popping up so once that is done go back again to the build gradu change this to true but before you change to true you can I mean you can just reclaim the project folder once again change this to true just to alter the previous um, logic that has been made on the view binding change it to true then scroll down again to um, your file directory then click on the sync project with gradu files so this will resync the um, gradu data once that is done then you can i mean rebuild the projects and let's see this time around it should work with the new namespace so now we have com.biggidroid.bigp which makes sense as you can see it works well so i'm going to um run this app now and let's see if it's going to um build as you can see it is built so this is just one of my um, demo projects that i'm working on on um, big Android. so it's going to be out very soon so let's just uh, wait for this to process i mean my emulator is trying to load okay so let's get okay, still it's still building still trying to send it to my emulator now emulator is up so starting the device okay device started so this is um the base design i've worked on um which I follow, uh, what is it called? Cheaper car design. So I just try to do something different, you know, just make it work on raw Android um, development. So, so far, I've been able to couple some things. So, very soon, this course will be out for you guys to, you know, to be able to also learn how this is done. So, all these are in, uh, what is it called? XML, not. Um, KMP, I mean, sorry, yeah, Kotlin multi-platform is just XML or true. So these are all the layouts that was added. I mean, there are so many things here. So very soon, all this will be live and public for you guys to um, take part. You get so you, for you guys to also download for free. Yeah, so that's how to resolve your package in namespace. I hope you guys learned something cool. So um, if you don't mind, please subscribe to our channel once again and hit the like button if you have any video suggestion comment below then we are going to do our best to also work on it thank you once again for checking it out see you guys in the next one bye